Hey guys, we're back in here with another video. In today's video, I want to talk about this set. Or the box, that is. Let me slide back so I can get the whole thing in there. I made a slideshow. I don't want to be holding it up. It's kind of difficult. And came with this. There's nothing in there. Came with this uh, manual. And I got this from a buddy of mine. He sells slot cars. And someone came to him seeking knowledge of whether this set had any value in it. So once we cracked it open, it wasn't complete. So, and it didn't have the cars from the set. So there was no value. And the ones that they had, they weren't in that good condition. We were hoping it was complete, because then that would have been cool. I probably would have bought it myself if it was. That was not to be. So anyway, I made a slideshow of mainly this manual and the inside of this box compared to the boxes we have now, the packaging. So let's get to the slideshow. All right, so right here we have the inside of the box and I like how it's made out of styrofoam. That is more durable than what we're getting now. And I took a couple pictures of some of the newer sets that I have. But here, this is, I took a picture of the price tag. And I guess this is where they bought it from, S. Klein, some store that no longer exists. $26.88 was the price of this set. This is an Auto World set that I have. And I just want to compare the packaging to then and what we're getting now, at least from Auto World. This is the inside of the box. This is how everything is packaged. This cardboard, which is not very durable. And I actually like this set. Not too crazy about the chassis. You do have to put some work on them. I put a Tyco axle in, and they run better with that. There's some other fixings that you can do to them, or hop ups, or whatever you want to call them. But I didn't get into all that. But the cars, they look great, though. These are good looking cars. They did their job with that. Like, again, Auto World makes their cars look like artwork. I'll give them that. This is the uh, inside of the Carrera set that I have. And this is closer to the old style. The packaging that they had, our container from the old model motoring set. And this is a little bit more durable than what you would get all the packaging that's used in the Auto World set. That's the box that I came in. Now I get into the nitty gritty. This is the manual that came with it, or what's left of it. You can see that the uh, cover was ripped off, and I guess the first page with it. this is how this is the set what it came with the contents it's for buy battery operated sets how to assemble I don't my thing with guardrails, I don't like them attached to the track itself. I like to have a shoulder or a skirt, whatever you want to call it, and have the guardrail on the outside of the skirt so that the outside lane doesn't get an advantage. It's like when we were kids, 
you got an outside lane, you could basically floor it through the turns and it would stay because of the guardrail held the car on. But just something I don't like. That, that is my remedy for that is to put a skirt on the track and put the guardrails on the outside of the skirt. And they have the wiring two lane set, wiring for a four lane set. I don't like these controllers. I'm gonna guess this was a 60s, late 60s set. Which of course I was a baby back then. Definitely don't like these controllers. The plunger types. I'd say the track itself, the quality of the track, I think is superior to what we get now. The, the plastic. Troubleshooting hints. Check the wiring. I like these little pamphlets though. I like this stuff. More troubleshooting. Tips for your cars. Exploded view of the chassis. And when I was a kid, I took all my cars apart. You know, we thought we were doing something. You take it apart, all it up, put it back together. You're gonna make it faster. <laughs> Is there a special racing oil? Modern motoring special racing oil with built-in applicator in the cat may be purchased at your dealer for 25 cents. That shows you where the oil at. Just good. I like this. Mini T-Jet 500 motor and chassis assembly. Roadway systems. And you guys could always go back and pause it if you want to read this stuff. I'm not going to sit there and read all of it. But I'm going to go through each page. There's some layouts, some basic layouts they have. Highway expansion program. I like this layout right here. This looks cool too. Some of these you can't do, or I should say you would have to make the adjustment, but some of the track pieces they don't have anymore, like this, uh, well not on this lady, I saw like a 7 inch straight and a 5 inch straight. Six lane layouts. Florida Grand Prix of Endurance. This one looks pretty cool. Check out another one. Yeah, this one came out blurry. 
and right here, seven inch straight, five inch straight. That way you would have to make some type of adjustment based on the measurement, seven inch, five inch. If you try to find a way to accommodate with what is uh, available today, unless you're going to use this style of track. Some more layouts. So what is this? One, two, four, six, eight lane. Eight lane layout. This is why I say, I hope someday we get digital and HO. But you never know. I mean, some guys like this. Depends on what you like, I guess. I like to give you the dimensions. 66 inches, 135 inches. You know, with the size table you need to get. Super turnpike, clover leaf. Uh, it looks cool. Model motoring and HO railroad combination layout. It looks like this just goes over it. I don't know if this is a railroad crossing or not. They had, actually had one on a curve. I mean, if you know, drop a comment below. Just looking at the diagram, but I don't see anything here that says. Railroad crossing. Some more layouts. And it's nothing I wish we had, which we no longer have. It's some type of elevation change. I had bought this and definitely doesn't work well with the newer cars. Parts. So now with today's technology, something like this would be cool because you could switch it. If you have the electronics now, if they went digital, railroad crossing. I'm talking five inch straight, seven inch straight. Now with today's Tomy track, they don't have that. Anymore. So if you had a layout with these two pieces, you would have to find a way to accommodate that. That's what I did when I made mine. I had to play around with it a bit to get it to work because it, it had five inch straights, the uh, boy's life layout. And I got it going. And it's here, turn off. This could be a pit lane if they went digital. Never been big for loops. I do have a loop set, and what I want to do with that is this is going to be like a crash race set. You have your loops, it has crisscross, and I wanted to add a rail crossing so you could either crash each other or crash with the train. Their kids are like that. It looks okay, but I would want something more that look more realistic, like on a real road or something. Yeah, there's no road is gonna look like that. It's 
speed corners. I don't have to see that in person. I guess there's their way of adding a, a shoulder to it so you can slide out or something. Railroad and model motoring accessories. The stand, pit kit. Old school lap counter. Dual pit stop. I remember these. We had something like that. I think I had a black one. Some of the cars and trucks, because the guy that had this before decided to put some artwork on there. Some more cars. Version table. I'm not going to go through all these, but I did take a close-up of ones in New Jersey. Because there's a couple of stores that I actually been to, and I still remember. Like English Town, Sport, Tiny Tots, Greenbrook. I don't know this one. I've probably seen it in Highland Park, but don't remember it. And it's another one here. Yeah, this is right here. This is still here. Model Railroad, Bell Ave Market. This shop is still here. I just went there like last month. So they're still here. And this one here which is on his way to downtown New Brunswick. We used to drive past this all the time. So anyways, that's it for this video. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, which probably will be about your favorite slot car.